Hi guys. I just got something done for a customer, and so we're going to try stitching it out and see what it looks like. She sent me a picture of her pet bearded dragon and wanted it turned into um, she wanted it turned into a embroidery file. So we had a digitizer do that. And I haven't stitched it out yet to see what it's going to look like. So we're going to do that together. So this is a backing that gives it strength and it's a, a tear away so as it works or when we're done it it literally tears away from um, get this right it tears away from the print so we're just gonna get this I just got new hoops so I have different sizes now. So we're just going to get this hooped up. Make sure it's not too tight, but yet tight enough to hold it so that it, it doesn't move. You don't want to get it too tight because it will stretch your edges. And then when you take it out, it looks funky. So. Yay, it fit. I should check my bobbin because I've done a bunch of stuff. I think we're fine for a small stitch out. Okay, so. We'll pull it up on here so that all moves okay. Whoop, there, okay. So let's see. stitch first. Perfect. Okay. That's embroidery. Um, the first number she's calling for is thread 330. So let's see if that's one we have or if we have to match it. So that's going to be in the browns, and I don't have that brown, so this is part, let's see what we have. We have brown, we have some cream color, um, I'm trying to remember like the bearded dragons I've been around, what would work. Um, let's see. Let's do, let's do this in dark brown to start with. So pull our black out from our last project. So it's calling for a color number 330 and that's in the brown range. And I don't have 330, but I have 323, which is, um, kind of a light brown so we'll use it to start with I'm 
I'm anxious to see how good this looks because it came off of a photo and um, it did take her a little bit longer than my other designs I've had her do because I'm sure doing it off of a photo is not easy. But in the pictures that she sent, it looks really good. So I'm hoping that it's as good as it looks. Okay, let's go ahead and start. shoulder things like that you can wear either way we are but not right this minute I'm gonna need to stitch this out and then um, then we can go huh you're gonna do a eat and do some homework.
We're just stitching out a new pattern that um, I just had a digitizer do for me off of a photo. Um, she, I have a customer that wants her bearded dragon um, done on a hat or a shirt. And so um, we took the picture and gave it to a digit digitizer and she turned it into the file. So this is the first time I'm embroidering it to see what it looks like. have pictures of like your dog or a cat or I think she can even do like people's faces and stuff of course you can do logos and all that kind of stuff but if you have other things that you want on shirts or hats and you want it embroidered um, send me pictures and I can send them off to be digitized just to give you an idea we did this in two sizes so she can do a small one like this for hats or left hand pockets on shirts, stuff like that. And we did a larger size, um, and this one was $70 to do the two files. So it comes in two different sizes. This, each, each size that she gives you can be scaled up and down a tiny bit, but it changes the stitches. So if you decide you wanna go from small to big, you have to do two different files. So, it costs a little money to get it done, but then you can put it on whatever you want. So it's kind of a fun thing, like if you wanna make a quilt and put different family faces on it, I can do them in the squares for you. And then you make your quilt, or if you wanna make the kids their own bath towels, I can put their names on them, whatever. So this has um, seven color changes. So this will be our second color that we're pulling out here. Our second color is black. These videos aren't for everybody. Some people just find them satisfying to watch because you're watching the needle go up and down and some people find it extremely boring. But I'm just making them for whoever wants them. Trying to move my camera back a little bit to off the table that the machine's on because it shakes so bad. Hopefully that helps.
Maybe you'll be able to see it a little better, I don't know. going to switch to the light tan color. My daughter gave me a whole bunch of stickers and I stuck them on my table before I got the sewing machine or embroidery machine. And now they're kind of in the way. They stick on everything. project. It's starting to stitch the actual gecko now. It did the rock that it was perched on to start with.
So it's telling me my bobbin's almost empty. So we're gonna go ahead and switch that out. nice that it tells you so that you don't just run out and it keeps stitching with nothing in there. Um. The cool thing is you just plug this back in where you left off, put it back on and it picks up where you left off so you don't lose any stitches or have to try to figure out how to realign it or anything, it just does it. Make sure that's in there. Third's done with us. We've got seventy five hundred stitches and it's got ninety three hundred sixty two stitches. We're going to have to color change, and it's got a total of seven. So the next few are just going to go quick after this is done. This is a new bearded dragon pattern that I just did for a customer off of a photo. So we took the photo and sent it into a digitizer and they turned the photo into an embroidery file. 
so um, the, the photo had a lot more in it, but we pulled off uh, the bearded dragon and part of the rock that it was perched on. And that's what um, she created the file with. So we're almost done. We just have a couple color changes to do, but each one of them is going to be go quick. Next we're doing black. And what it's going to do is start putting in highlights and stuff from the, the details. I've been trying to think of the word that the th of what the thread is on all morning and it just finally popped in my head. It's a spool. My brain has been mush this morning. which is 323. Put some dark stuff on here. on my thumb. Every time I go to roll the thread up, it catches on there. After this, we have one more color change and then it'll be done. eyes and his mouth. 
and then we'll be done with him. Take this off and we'll put it away because otherwise it gets all wound up. And we'll pop him out. So I need to trim him up, make him look nice, but that's what he looks like. So when we do this, we just take him out of the hoop, and then that backing that we put on the back is a tearaway. So what you do is um, put your finger on the actual embroidery and you pull toward it, and that all of this extra support material just pulls away. So what needs to stay stays, and what doesn't, you just pick out. looks like that on the back and like that on the front so I'm hoping my customer likes it thank you guys for watching if you have any questions or anything comment on this post or I'll upload it to um, YouTube later and you can comment on there thanks guys